Hi guys, this is Brian Bennett for CNET and we are at Mobile World Congress 2014 taking a first look at the new Yodaphone. This is the new model that has been just announced at the show and it is a new and improved device. It is a lot thinner than the previous model and uh, if you guys don't know what this is, this device on the this side, it looks like a regular Android device. It's running Android KitKat powered by a Snapdragon uh, 800 processor, quad core, it's very fast. It's got a 5 inch full HD AMOLED display, very nice. But when you turn it around, on the other side, it has a large 4.7 inch e ink display. Now, one of the major improvements over the previous model is that this display on back is actually full touch. So instead of having to use a strip on the bottom to interact with the display, you can now just touch you know, the screen and interact with all the elements here as you would a typical uh, or premium e-reader. And as you can tell, it's also very thin. And one of the best things is that using the e-ink display, not only can you read it outdoors in direct sunlight, but it'll also, you know, impact the battery a lot less. You're probably going to see about one and a half to almost two times longer runtime using the e-ink display. You can see all of your uh, text messages, your alerts, your social media, uh, everything right there and you don't have to tax the battery that much at all. The company says that it will be available by Q4 of this year and hopefully arrive in the U.S. by early 2015. Approximate pricing will probably be around 449 euros, basically a premium price for an unlocked smartphone. So there you have it folks, we've just taken a first look at the brand new revamped and new and improved Yoda phone at Mobile World Congress 2014. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET.